All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the first podcast, the first LDG podcast. Um, and today we're going to be doing a slight, a, like an interview with a well-known community member in the Unturned um, community. His name is Puro. Some of you guys probably already know him. If you guys want to check him out, um, I will be, uh, I will be having them in the description below. Um, he he's a he's an Unturned YouTuber. He does like a lot of movies. Um, very recently one of his videos did really really well, so I'm proud of him. So it'd be like an interview, we're currently also live, um, on Twitch. It's, um, if you guys want to be a part of it in the future, we're going to be doing this weekly, uh, with other creators as well. So if you guys have a suggestion of who you want to see on this podcast, then let me know. Um, so before we start though, I would like to mention the sponsors of the podcast. Obviously, huge shout out to them, if it wasn't for them, then, um... You know, it would be a completely different story. So, first things first is we have Pine Hosting. I'm pretty sure a lot of people uh, do know who Pine Hosting is. Pine Hosting is a... Uh, they do a lot of server stuff. If you guys would like to buy yourself a server, for whatever reason, on turn, they do a lot of different games. Make sure to use code LDG for 30% off. We also have Amok Studios, who specialize... Uh, it's a team of professionals who work with you to make, to make mods. So, for example, if you're looking to make yourself a mod or a map for uh, for your server make sure to check out amok studios and finally we have restore monarchy restore monarchy specializes in free and paid plugins so if you want a plugin in your server uh, make sure to have make sure to check out restore monarchy they are the best if you guys want as you may see at the bottom there's exclamation point host exclamation amox and exclamation monarchy so if you guys want to check them out um feel free so yeah huge shout out to the uh sponsors so let's start with Puro, hello Puro, hello, hello Puro, hello, hi. hello hi, there. Hi Liam. So how are you feeling, man? You you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. No, nah, man, you don't you don't have to be nervous. We're chilling, dude. You know, <laughs> we're chilling. So uh, I do have myself like a a small list of of questions. Um, they mainly go into one turn, so don't worry. They will not be any weird questions with me. Okay, you can. You can relax. <laughs> um, have you ever been like in a in a podcast or something before? No, actually, I haven't. This is this is my first, so I kind of feel like. Uh... Oh really? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Oh, dude, don't. It's gonna it's gonna be nice. I have some interesting questions. Um, I did also do like a little announcement in my Discord for people that, um, they all like some of them ask some decent. Some of them were weird questions. I'm not gonna go into them. <laughs> you know, like some people were just, uh, you know, like you saw a few of them. I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> so in, in, indeed, I did. Oh uh, yeah. I, let's not talk about those. All right. Let's try to keep this as a family-friendly, you know, podcast. You know. Um. So let's just start off. So the first question I have for you, Puro, is you know we all started from somewhere when it comes to Unturned. It's how did you find out about Unturned? Oh god, damn! Straight to that kind of question. Yes, did we, you know how? Mm. How, dude? You know, it's very important, man. <laughs> to be honest, I was just scrolling like the Steam pages for the free games, and then I saw Unturned. I was like, you know, okay, might as well yeah. try it. And and now it's 2024, and I look back like, damn, I started playing Unturned ten years ago. Yo, the oh wait, you started in 2014? Yeah, in 2014 damn. August. Wow. Okay. I don't think I know anyone that started before that, actually. I actually have a video posted as well, which is kind of cringe, because I was Damn. like, uh, what was it? I was I was 13 then. Yeah, I start. I started on turn when I was in 2016, so I was 16. Bro. Oh my god. Yeah, twi- and back then it wasn't like on turn 3, it was the previous on turn. It was on turn t- 2.0. Yeah, I think that's that, that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah. The graphics Whoa. for that time actually was pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. I uh, the the fir- I I thought it was Minecraft, like free <laughs> free to play Minecraft. <laughs> um, oh my god! Yeah, I I I went in single player. Back then it was just Washington, and uh, no, not Washington PI. It, and yeah, PI. Uh, I I started punching at three, thinking I was gonna get wood that way. Uh, um, I I started with my friend, and when when we hear you. 
first launch lantern we had no clue what to do so i picked up everything and then i was like wait why can't yeah. i pick that up again I, I didn't know that you actually had like a weight system there as well <laughs> oh yeah yeah no it was cool back the old pi map was so sick as well it was slightly know, never... different but yeah it was amazing never been a fan of, of a really? pi you know oh yeah. no i loved pi back then it was just pi and monolith like monolith survival you know for just really... years oh i didn't even know about monolith actually yeah yeah i used to just go on monolith and just build a big base and that's it there was no zombies or anything it was just just like that mm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right let's go to the next question so uh all right what is your favorite vanilla map in unturned do we talk about like curated maps or like the no, og no, vanilla maps? just vanilla so either pi washington yukon germany or uh, okay, russia those ones yeah 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 out of all of those i'm honestly gonna say uh, gonna say russia but my okay Second best is Washington. It's like they're like kind of tied, I guess. All right. Yeah, I I would probably say the same as well. To be honest, Washington and Russia are the best. Russia's good, but it's just like a running simulator, to be honest. Yeah, and the fact that you always spawn at the bottom, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you know, you try to speed run, but nah, man, you have yeah. to go through farms and. It's always annoying. run to the top of the map to place a sleep yeah. back down, but that you die before. Yeah, exactly. It's. It's kind of annoying. Okay, uh, so we we talked about Vanilla. What about curated now, though? What's your what's your favorite curated? Uh, now we're getting into the good stuff. Yeah. Honestly, it has to be Polaris because that's the map that brought me back to Unturned. Okay, po yo Polaris, dude. Sadly, Polaris is dead. Someone please make a Polaris server, please. I love Polaris, man. Polaris was, I don't, I loved it. It's it was just paced. something like new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, have you played, like, Arid, for example, though? You want to know the honest truth? Yes. <laughs> I, I hopped on for 10 minutes and then logged off. Oh, no, nah, man, Arid, Arid, yeah, it is... At the start, it may be a bit boring, but the more you play, the more fun it gets. So I definitely recommend Arid, you know? It's, like, harder than, like, Buwak and oh, those it, kinds of maps. Yeah, it is a, it is a bit hard, yeah. B yeah. I, I would say Buwak and Arid are the hardest maps. And then, for example, like, Escalation and Polaris... And Elve are like fast-paced PvP maps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't forget about Escalation. Like, that map was also good. I mean, it still is. Yeah, obvious, Escalation after the new update. right now. Yeah. yeah, Escalation right now is the most popular. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Escalation, though? Do you do you like it? Do you like the guns? What do you think of it? When it first came out, I was skeptical, so I did I did play it. I was like, okay, I don't like like this. Then after like. After like the first week, I was like, okay, it actually is like nice. And then I kept okay. playing it, I kept playing it. Then I was like, okay, I do like this map. Like it's fast and it has like the same like style, like Polaris. Okay. What about, have you ever played Collide? Quite, yeah. When SOD had made a server on that, I uh... went to play on it. And then after two days, server bloody died. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I was, I was so mad. I remember playing I was like, there, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I like the sandstorms, like, that, that was a new thing. I didn't even know that sandstorms, like, push you over there. Like, that yeah, was, that yeah, was an that amazing was thing. Cool. Bro, the, the Kauai, the, 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 um, that event that they did, first it was, like, I forgot who hosted it. I think it was Menoman. Man. And then they did, the, and then, then Z-Man did one, I think. Or it was, like, the other way around. I forgot. The first... I don't know. What... I forgot. I forgot. Um, but yeah, the first one was just dead, and then the other one was a public server, and bro, you could imagine a public server <laughs> with YouTubers, you know. Ah, that's, that's crazy, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 it was insane. Super popular, probably. Yeah, it was always at like 100 plus pop the whole time. Everyone was just door camping, it was, cra it was insane. It was fun though, I had a good time <laughs> there. Uh, okay, so, alright. Next question is about unturned. Do you like unturned skins? What do you think of unturned skins? I like the like uh, cosmetic bundles that you have, as you know, like shirts, backpacks, and stuff. But I, I, I dislike the gun skins. Okay. I don't know why, but something in me just just doesn't like the gun skins. But all like the, like the hats, backpacks, shirts, pants, like those are good. Okay. I saw an interesting thread about the like airsoft bundle, right? 
All right, uh -huh, yeah. When, 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 I, when I was when I was scrolling through workshop, I was like, okay, I, I bloody love this, right? So, and then I went to Discord. I was like, why is it in this? Why is it in the game? And they were like, oh, because it was something like bad beef back in the yeah, day. I'm like, what okay. the heck? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I kind of agree with you when it comes to the guns. To be honest, sometimes I just turn them off. Um, yeah. It, it it some some sometimes it feels weird. So if you're like playing on a, a vanilla server and you have like a, a mythical with flames running around, it's kind of it's kind of weird, you know. Yeah. Now when people make their curated maps, right, the new ones like Escalation and Polaris, they have their own gun what model, so you don't like you really you need use? the skins. Okay, so we got ourselves a question from Chase who donated 100 bits. Thank you, Chase. Um, this is a channel-related question, so he just wanted to ask, um, what editing software do you use? Da Vinci Resolve. Yo, the shout out version. Da Vinci. Hell yeah. The free version, of course, because I'm I'm poor. I can't afford the license yet. The the free Da Vinci is perfect, to be honest. <laughs> it's really no, good. I, I, I actually read like the pay one actually help, would would help me a lot because it would make it own like so, its own subtitles and would be like a bit faster. Okay. But yeah, I, I, I ain't no way gonna pay like three hundred for that. Damn. Yeah, I mean, I never really spent money on editing softwares to be honest with you. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So. I don't know what what kind of servers do you play. Let's get let's get that one right now because the question next has to do with that. What kind of servers do you play mainly? This is gonna sound sad, but full vanilla first person servers. The, uh, no, that's not sad. Those those kind of servers, in my opinion, are the hardest servers to play on. As you know, I used to play third person uh, with everyone. You know, like I even, I even play with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I but it. but it but it got like boring, and then I was like. Ugh. So now when I came back, I was like, first I person and first person only. Okay, so I feel like third person is a bit more, I, I would say a bit more intense, but first person is harder to win fights, you know? Because first, yeah. Be yeah, go on, go on. You're, you're more like immersed in it than you are in third person, because in third person, all you do is like camp behind a tree or, camp or sit in a bush when you're third person on and you easily get killed like that. That's true. That is true, yeah. And third person, you the only thing you me personally, or the only thing I do in first person is killing from behind or third person camping. That's all I do. And most of the <laughs> times, other than that, if I'm on a one on one, I die. <laughs> so, first person, I've played a few first person servers, and they're always hard, man. So I respect you for doing first person only servers. Yeah, um, but they're slowly dying. That is true, yeah. That is true, sadly. I remember there was a, 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 a years ago there was a very popular first person. I think right now they're still active actually. The the sod servers. Uh, you want to know the honest truth? No. That, wait, what do you mean? They're they're not that active anymore because yeah, they have like an okay. issue issue going on and yeah. I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have a friend who only plays um first person aired, but I don't know if he actually still plays there. To be honest with you. The area actually could be possible because like that's the like only map that gets played uh, with also Buwak as well in SOD. Yeah. All right. So uh, the question that I have to, that has to do with the server is: in these servers that you play, do you actually still encounter cheaters, like hackers? You know. Hmm. Back in the Polaris day, yes, on SOD I did, but now I haven't actually seen any cheaters anymore. Okay. At least I haven't like figured out if they were cheating or not because oh, yeah, I either yeah. kill them or I die like I'm, I'm not gonna like get into it anymore no like what I mean for example like in the chat you see like Mr. Banana Man has been banned from console for blah blah, blah. oh no yeah yeah but not console but all, the only thing I see is like banned by battle line, but that's just okay. someone trying to connect to the server who has already been banned yeah okay yeah exactly yeah. all right all right all right yeah because right now the, there's a huge wave of hackers and unturned actually which kind of which kind of sucks to be honest yeah, there's a huge wave of hackers, so... And I don't think they really play in first-person vanilla servers, though. They wouldn't go for those kind of servers, but that's what I think. I think yeah. they would go for, like, like you know, like, 100x load, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're gonna go for, like, more, more popular and more easy servers. Yeah, where, yeah, where exactly. If you lose loot, they, they, don't, they don't care, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, so another question I have is... Uh, Alright, have you ever thought of starting your own servers in Unturned? 
Or you know, I back in the day I used to have them. There was like intern Grump community and stuff like that, but it got hectic, and I was like, uh, I'm just gonna stop this. And yeah, yeah. I, right, I, right now, I, I just have like vanilla first person servers just sitting there. If anyone wants to play on them, they play. If no one wants to play on them, then they don't have to play. You know. Hey, yo, what what are they called? Yo, plug them in, dude. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not plugging them in. No, man, go for it, man. <laughs> the, that's basically like. If I plug that in, I'm like promoting my own thing. Like I have like a, I have like a server hosting thing. For myself oh, as well. I see. Okay, okay. Hey, oh, Chad, if you want to play on Poru servers, though, hey, join his Discord. You know, ask him. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. There's some weird questions going on right now. Zabika asked you. If you don't want to answer this, it's totally fine. He asks you, how tall are you? Why would you want do to you, know? <laughs> do you want in meters or do you want in feet? Both. Oh, uh, uh, both. Wait, let me let me get the Google app now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Chisiki, I am one, not asking that. <laughs> 1.82 meters or it's almost six foot, but it's 5.97 foot. Okay. Yeah, I think we're almost the same height then. Damn. W, all right. it's, still, it's still not six feet. Yeah, I, I, I'm one foot. I'm I'm one inch away from six foot, and I always say I'm six foot. You know. <laughs> <laughs> one point eight meters. Yeah, apparently you are six foot. I don't know. What, uh, Google says like one point eight two is five point ninety seven. Google's wrong. I don't know. Google's wrong. L Google. So one point eight is six foot. Damn. Yeah, man, you're taller than me. Oh yeah, you get to add shoes, that's true. Yeah, you do have to add shoes. Don't forget about shoes. My shoes probably add like I don't even like a centimeter. Oh yeah, then yeah, you are six foot. Damn, you're taller than me. This is so sad. One hundred eighty two centimeters is six feet, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just reading chat as well. <laughs> my they're always right. I never argue with my chat because they're always right. I try to argue, they yeah, you know, doesn't <laughs> go well. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, I have this is a bit of a weird question, uh, not really weird, but I don't know why I want to ask you this, but I want to know. All right, which is the better weapon from these two? Okay, Maple Strike or Zubek? Come on, it has to be Zubek, Nicole. All right, thank it, you. Because it's like easier to get as well. That is true. Yes, that is true. Oh. The only time I actually used it was on Pain or Russia, but on Pain you just run to the whatever bunker it was, and then on Russia, it's just easy to get anywhere. Yeah, on um, Maple Strike you can only get it from PI. That's yeah. It. And no, didn't you get like from uh, air airdrops? Yeah, from then Russia there's as well? airdrops. Yeah, yeah, on all maps you can get it from airdrops, but like Zubek you can get it from all maps like, yeah. as a normal spawn. If your aim is good, then honestly, I'd say like any gun is decent. I agree, I agree, I agree. Alright, well, uh, that's mainly all of the unturned questions I had. If you guys have any questions about unturned, now we're going to go into the deeper stuff. The questions when it comes to the channel. Oh wait, I forgot to ask one question actually. I don't think I asked this. Yeah, I don't think I asked this. So, if you guys don't know, Puru does Rust content as well. Um... Like Ross video actually did quite well, if I remember correctly, too. Um, yeah, I think it's sitting somewhere like 6k views or something. Dude, that, that's really good. Um, so I have a question. So, you know how Rust is. But have mm -hmm. you ever played Rust Turned? Ah, no I haven't. There was this one Russian guy who actually did, like came, came into my Discord and was like, Hey, do you want to play this? Like, we're wiping soon. I'm like... Okay. Is it, is it in English? He's like, no, but it's in Russian. I'm like, okay, uh, but like, I still want to know what like what some stuff is. Like, some stuff aren't isn't the same like in in Rust actually. Yeah, like, um, the I've played Russian Rust turn servers. I don't understand anything. I've played English Rust turn servers. They're good. Like, there's a few servers that are really good. The though. only English Rust turn servers are the ones that are a bit modded, as in oh, as in yeah. sense like plugins and stuff like that. Like, oh, the no, only yeah. vanilla ones are old Russian. Oh no, there's no vanilla rust turn I think nowadays either. To be no, honest, there is. Know. There's the low rust one. The, oh okay. I think it's first person as well. Oh, well. Do I, I technically have to get into it at one point? Yeah, you should give it a try. Uh, but the thing is, it's Russian, so like you probably like the fact that you have Russian text all over your video. I, me personally, I feel like it's kind of 
Yeah, weird they, they to, to look at. It has to break away, like where I can even hide the yeah, inventory, yeah, yeah. hide as well, because because I, I don't want to see the huge rock on my screen, twenty four seven. You know. Yeah, you should give out. Uh, you should give a try to the um, restrained English ones, though. I think you would have a good time. They are intense. There's always hype up, but again, yeah, they're they they are third person, but. Bro, I would have to like ask the server hosters to get their maps because otherwise it's going to be annoying to make the movies in the rust below rust. Oh yeah, that's true. What I do is I I just I download the server and then I have the map in my single player. But, uh, but then there's <laughs> the bases and all of that, you know, it's just the landmarks. Yeah, what I do is like I have my own dedicated machine, so I host the server there and then I. Okay. We create all the buildings for the video that I see, and then I'm like, oh my fucking hell, you know? Yeah, nah, man. Thumbnails are a pain. <laughs> oh, well, like, I don't do my own thumbnails. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you don't. Your thumbnails, the, the person that makes your thumbnails, they're really good. Yeah, smile even sli slided into my yeah, DMs. I I know, like, I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he told you? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that guy is really good, so. He's doing a good job with those thumbnails. Yeah, I'm not gonna like gatekeep him. He needs money. I need thumbnails. Everyone has. Yeah, to. you know, it's a plus plus. <laughs> All right. So, how what about on turn off? Have you ever played on turn off? I don't actually think that I have played it. I have heard of it. I have seen videos of it, but I don't think I've like played okay. the latest on turn off at least. It's the hard. And the one that was like back in the day, like. Not okay, back in the yeah. day, like, like last year, I think it was, or whatever. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. They're hard, man. Rust on Turnov, in my opinion, is the hardest in whatever you play on turn. On Turnov is the hardest. They're always first person, too, as well. So, you probably would like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, that's mainly the um, on turn questions. Now, let's go on to the channel and content questions. So, the first question is... So you currently do a lot of um, you do a lot of videos, but have you ever thought about uh, doing live streams? Indeed, I have, but I'm not gonna do it like yet. Like I want to reach like a certain goal with subscribers. Like oh yeah, if I if I if I have like a few subscribers, I, I don't I don't want to do the stream honestly. But if I have like let's say 10k or something above, yeah, I'm okay. gonna start doing like streams with my things. So yeah, I stream man. and record at the same time. Yeah, you could like do videos out of that. That's, I've I've thought about that, but I feel like it's recycled content, you know. Yeah, but then there's also the issue you have to think like you can't record and stream at the same time to have like the perfect quality yeah. quality of video. Exactly. So the only exactly. option for it is to have like a two PC system, which exactly. takes yeah, too I... much money. No, I'm not doing dual PC. I I thought about like I've done I've tested when it comes to like recording and streaming at the same time my pc the fps cut down in half the audio is comp terrible i i i don't know how people actually do it like other than dual pc so yeah you can do you can do it with one pc but you just have to like uh, lower the recording quality and i don't want to do that no nah, it ruins would the bad. ruins the viewer view it's doing like the viewer's uh, point of view you know exactly yeah all right so yeah, man, it would be sick if you start streaming. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, trust me. Sometimes certain people do piss me off. I'm, I'm not talking about the people that are in my chat right now. <clears throat> um, but it's always fun, man. You meet new people, you know, you play with your viewers. So, yeah. All right, so, um, okay. So do you have any upcoming videos coming? Like, what's your next big project since you just do, like, long movies, you know, or, like, you know what I mean. So, do you have anything mm -hmm. planned right now? Well, the only thing I am doing right now is I'm editing the vlog one that I recorded in January, I think. Damn, okay. okay. And then I have a another small escalation one. And more, well, I'm actually going to start Rust Wipe. So, if that goes along, oh. then after escalation, I'm going to do another. All right. Sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I can't wait for a vlog <laughs> video. I have not seen anyone post blog videos. I've seen like a few at when like the map launched, but after that, I have not mm -hmm. seen anything. And shout out to blog I mean, by the way. They added a billboard is... for Liam does blog. Game. You're still active though. Re wait, really? Yeah, the SOD one actually has players on blog. Like I said, that's like that's like the only map that gets players on SOD. 
Oh, damn. Like, okay. before, before the, like, coach changed, like, last week, they had, like, active 20, I think. Oh, da okay. Yo. So Bo that's, like, decent. Book. All right. That's really good. <clears throat> I'm really happy for that. Book. I love Book, man. It's a hard map, but it, it's. I feel like it's it's a hardcore survival map. You know? Yeah, it reminds me, like, Rust when I have to go for Sulfur on the coal. <laughs> yeah. That is true, yeah. Yeah. Just like Rust also had like the cave system like in, in the, the Buwak has like that would be like interesting to see. It would be sick if there's like another hardcore map in Uncharted. I feel like a lot of devs did kind of like give up because Buwak didn't do well because it's a like it's a hardcore survival map. So people say they assume that nobody likes hardcore survival maps, but I I had a great time, man. If the map is hardcore. It's good. If the map is large, it's good. If the map is medium, it has to be at least Escalation or yeah, Polaris level. Exactly, yeah. I think, wait, is Polaris medium? I thought it was large. No, Polaris is medium, I think. Oh, okay. Wait, let me check up wiki real quick. <laughs> yeah, it, it's me medium. All right, okay. <laughs> I felt it's always, I don't know why. Okay. And I mean, isn't Limestone supposed to be coming out like in January? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So li Limestone is a new map um, made by Ranoxon. Who made on who worked on Arid? Um, I don't really know much about it. I know that there's gonna be a public playtest, so it's gonna be a bit different than usual playtests. So there won't be leaks. So whoever wants to playtest it before launch can playtest it. Uh, it was delayed from like it was supposed to come out like if I remember correctly like a month ago, but it was delayed till early 2025. I don't exactly know when, but yeah. That's the yeah, only thing that, I know about it. Better delay it than release it like an unfinished state or something like that. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I don't want a map to release and it's bad. Or like... But you know what's one medium. more thing about Limestone? It's also a medium map. Oh, let's go. Okay. Which is like 50-50, honestly. If it's gonna be good or not. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm, I, I have my hopes, hopes up with Limestone, to be honest. Renox and yeah, made, same. yeah. Did Vernoxon also help with Polaris, if I remember? Yeah, I, yeah, he worked on Polaris, I'm pretty sure, and I think he helped a bit on Escalation, too. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, the first map he worked on was, like, <coughs> California, I, I think. I'm not sure, though. Don't. I'm not sure. But he did work on, like, some other maps before. Oh, it, Arid as well, huh? Yeah, Arid. Arid he, it was from... I think Arid was mainly him. Oh yeah, the Antarctica one was as well. That was, yeah, was a, yeah, yeah. Wait, ah, which was a funny April Fool's, honestly. <laughs> yeah, and uh, dude, I was actually not that bad of a map. I had a great time playing Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it came out, me, uh, me and my friend uh, were like, "Yeah, let's go play another snow map." Like we like yeah. snow maps, you know. Yeah, yeah, so it was yeah. Like, it was like great to see, and then we joined. It's like, oh, April Fool's. <laughs> I made a really good video from it. I just lived in an igloo, and did made a banger video from it. it was stacked. <laughs> It was pretty easy to get loot there, but yeah, the map was fun. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was like a fun PvP map, you know? Like a fun mm -hmm. min mini game, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so I have another question. Um, So, all right, what's your next goal for your channel? Like, do you have a sub goal or like a view goal? So, for example, you want a video to reach 1 million views, for example. Or do you would rather go for like sub goal? Or do you, what, what, what's going on? I mean, I technically have... Like, everyone has the big goal, you know, like 100k, you know, yes. subs, you know, but basically my small goal is to see your Rust video go over 10k views. Dude, that, I, you you probably will get that soon, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm still surprised that one unthrown one actually went yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. It's still climbing daily 1k. That, dude, that video, that, it's a really good video too, I saw all of it, it's a really good video, so it deserves, you know, deserves to grow like that, 100%. Mm -hmm. Pain uh, in the ass to edit them, though. What? What? Pain in the ass to edit them, though. Oh yeah, so no, yeah, for sure. Like with Da Vinci, I have to like render the boxes first, so whenever I edit, it goes smoothly. And doing it, doing the boxes takes up the whole day. Damn. Yeah, that's why I like like I prefer using Vegas because you just wait for it to render once. It only takes like two minutes for like an hour long clip and. That's it. Like then, it, the quality, the preview quality is a bit lower quality, but the render quality is still, you know, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, another question is. Oh yeah, so let's go back to Rust. So you do Rust and Unturned, but would you ever like decide that, okay, let's say that your Rust video got 50k views and your next Rust video also got 50k views. Would you consider like switching completely to Rust and just completely ditch Unturned? Or what do you, what do you think? Or would you just stay, you know, 50-50 Unturned, 50 Rust? Yeah, when I first started this channel again, I was like, I'm going to do Unturned, I'm going to do Rust, I'm going to keep switching with between them. I like both games, and honestly, I don't want to see like Unturned like fully die out, so I'm never going to stop posting the videos, as long as there are first-person vanilla servers that I can record on. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, I'm kind of the same with Project Zomboid right now, but, you know, they're not really doing that well, sadly, but hey. I mean, I mean, still, I think, it, did you get like over 1k? Yeah, they all get around like 1k right now. Yeah, but that's still good, you know. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not for a... it gets it gets you on the map basically, and then you're gonna get more like viewed and viewed probably. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. My last one actually got like in like two days ago, one point one k, which is a new record. It's all... so... Yeah, it's already doing better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And every sub I get from these videos, I get so happy because hey, that's a project on board viewer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know how you feel. <laughs> Like so, right now, I have more unturned subscribers than I do Rust. So whenever I get Rust, when I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so another question is: so currently, you do Rust and Unturned, but would you ever consider like another game on on your channel? What do you think? Hmm. If it's a good survival game and I can do my movie things like I want to do. Then yes, but right now I don't think anything uh, besides Rust and Unturned has like the capability for me to do that, do that stuff. Okay, okay. But would you have like a game, like for example, let's say, I don't know. Um, I don't know, what, what, like, I don't know, let's go completely off track. Like, would you ever post a Counter-Strike video? I know you play Counter-Strike, you played it with me. So <laughs> yeah, I actually thought about doing like a second channel and doing like only CS content there. Like I've actually had that thought, thought okay. in like back of my head for the war for a while, you know. All right. Yeah. I mean, you did. If you have some free, I definitely recommend doing that. You know, uh, like yeah. a few months ago, I was only doing Untrained, and like then I decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start doing some Twitch and just do whatever I want, and it actually helped a lot. Like I got some new viewers from different games. Um, so yeah, I, if you're like a variety like YouTuber, then it's way better than being like one one game only. Yeah, so that's yeah, why it's always sure, better to sure. have like two, three games to upload. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah, but going back to streaming, if you were like in the future, I would recommend doing this as well. Plus, it's you know you don't feel like you're obligated to just post unturned only or like Rust only. You know, I am obligated to upload whatever I have in my folders. <laughs> I, I relate, yes. Sometimes I'm like, okay, so the next video has to be Escalation. And I'm like, I don't want to record Escalation. <laughs> I want to record Rust End. But I'm like, but Rust End, you know, it's like a mm -hmm. whole schedule at this point. Mm -hmm. But I still have a good time, thankfully. All right, so uh, another question is, yo, so, okay, so you since you do like your videos are they're quite long, like they're almost, all of them are over like an hour. Um, how long does it take you to edit a full video? Mm. Are we talking about like the newest ones or are we talking about like old videos? For example, like the, the untrained video that got over 100k, like how much, how long did that take you to, to edit it? That was approximately a week and a few days. Okay, so it's not, not that long, okay. A week is... Wait, how long but is then that again, the, but the video is like 40 minutes. Yeah, the Rush movie one, for example, I'm not going to lie. It took me a month because I kept like getting sidetracked so uh, easily. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. But like, for example, like for an editing like day, like how long, how, how, how much hours do you spend? Like an hour, five hours, you know? Editing per day, four or five. Okay. Yeah. So you, it you lock in. <laughs> It depends on the mood. Like sometimes I do, like I play CS, right? And when I die, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna edit, and okay. then I, again. And when same as like with Rust, 
All it right. gets night. I have nothing to do, then I open up my Da Vinci and okay. I edit again. All right. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, I, me yeah. personally, I just say, okay, tomorrow I'm editing only. So from morning till mm. evening, I just edit as like. Sometimes I even edit like a full video or like a video yeah. and a half. Last week I said, this weekend I'm gonna edit so I can so I can have all my. With the walk what videos files cut, you know, so okay, I can okay. like start editing for weekend came. <laughs> I didn't even open up Da Vinci for like more than two hours. Nah, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, you just you're like, uh, editing sometimes can be a bit boring, you know, or it takes long, or like it crashes or that kind of stuff, and you're like, bruh, I can't be asked, so I just go play, <laughs> you know, uh, okay, so. The final question I have for you is, and then we'll go to viewer questions. So, if, Chad, if you have any questions, please don't ask stupid questions like like a classic Chisiki question. Okay? I don't know if Chisiki is still here. Ask actual questions for my boy. Um, okay, so... Have you ever thought about doing a face reveal? Or like, as a goal for like, on 100k subs, I'm doing a face reveal. Have you ever thought about that? My face has already been on the internet, actually. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, like, like, uh, okay. Like an official think, video. Yeah, no, I think it was like a live stream, like when I was, like, with my old name, T5 Wolves, you know? Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I think for a live stream, I actually had it. Okay. But on my videos, I don't know, I'm not going to post a video, like. Damn, this is literally, today, this podcast is the first video I'm doing with my face cam on. So. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, podcast is technically, like, different. Like, I would have done the, the whole, like, webcam idea with you, but uh, I'm poor and I don't have a webcam. That's and right, I don't yeah. know. I threw my phone somewhere and I can't find it right now. No, I mean, the the way I, I, I remember I did my face reveal when I had 1K subs. I did, like, a is full that... video for it. And that's I think private I stopped... now. <laughs> yeah, I think I stopped playing like on term when you reach 3k or 4k subs because okay. then I was like, yeah, I, I think I stopped like with YouTube overall then. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, so basically Puru had an old channel. Uh, it was called T5 Wolves. We used to post unturned content as well. Uh, how much subs did you get on that channel? I completely. I think it was like 4k something. Yeah, yeah. Or near 4k. I remember, I, I remember, like, there was a month where you got, like, like a huge following at the same time. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And then, you like, you you contact me, I'm like, hey, I'm T5. I'm like, oh, damn. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm back. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny, like, whenever I say that stuff to, like, the people, like, who knew me, I did the same for to, like, MTN. MTN was like, oh, you're the guy I gave a dollar to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, it's nice that you came back though. Like so many YouTubers quit nowadays. It's crazy. So it's nice that you return. You know, back to unturned. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, like uh, I saw. Um, wait, what? What's the guy's name? I think it was Knight, the unturned YouTuber who made like a post about it. Like, and when yeah, I when yeah. I like watched it, I was like, wait, that stuff is going on. Like I didn't yeah. even know. Yeah, there was a a period in Unturned, like, YouTubers, the drama was insane. Thankfully, I was not part of any of it, so... Yeah, it's better, better to stay away from that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, also. no, for sure, for sure. And thankfully, the people that were, like, associated with all of the drama, I wasn't really, you know, didn't really know them that much, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, when well... When I came back, I actually was, like, surprised that even JSWEC stopped, like, uploading. Yeah, like, JSWEC. Oh. P9 occasionally does here and there. But J -Swag J -Swag had like a huge potential. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure. Even Zoom B, like he stopped for like two years. I oh, think. Oh yeah. Zoom B went to Rust when I stopped. Yeah, yeah. Then he came back like a few months back though. So that's nice that you know he came back so. Mm hmm mm hmm All right. Drama is crazy. Oh <laughs> uh, no, the trust I've been a few bits of drama here and there, but not not because I've started them, you know? Because I was dragged into it sadly. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Chad, do you guys have any questions for my boy Puri here? What? Okay, that's a great question. Uh, I'm not going to ask <laughs> that. <laughs> um, I saw is it, is it the 
Yeah, it's the same one I'm looking right now. It's the one someone just asked. Yeah. So I saw a question earlier from Dash. Wait, are you, how, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I am 23, I think you okay. said it. Yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly. Okay, so you're 23, good. So you're, you're of age of alcohol. For some reason, Dash <clears throat> asked you, what's your favorite alcohol, if you drink alcohol? I, I, I don't drink, but occasionally I, w. I have a, I have some, some on the side, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. So, like, when it's, like, a family gathering or I go on, like, a vacation trip. But my favorite alcohol so far is 80 degrees. So, yeah, it's, like, 80% alcohol. Damn. Okay. That is... In that that doesn't hammer you. <laughs> Actually, no. I can drink the whole bottle without even, like, uh, falling Jesus. over. I feel tipsy, but I'm, I don't, like, feel sick. Uh, dude, I after, like, I take one drink, I'm dead. I My alcohol takes me instantly. Uh, yeah, weak tolerance then. Yeah, exactly. I have weak tolerance. Yeah, this is my so sad. my brother is the same. Like he takes like two like beers and then he's like, oh. Bye. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I I wouldn't like not from uh, beer doesn't really do anything to me. But if like I take like I don't know, like uh, pff, like two drinks with vodka and like Sprite, um, I'm like already dizzy. <laughs> It's always like funny to see like when people look at my reaction like when I drink like vodka or this like the stroh that I said. Okay. They see me doing like no face at all. It's and yeah. they like react like what the heck? Bro, sigma sigma. <laughs> the... I I don't oh, my know bad. why. Wait. I actually accidentally muted my mic. Uh, the oh, first okay. uh, time when I tried alcohol was actually I think it was two or three years ago when I went okay. to a trip to Turkey. All right. And I tried the Turkish drink called Rocky. It was yeah, 40 I have degrees not or tried something. those. <clears throat> I have never even it's tried like, those. <laughs> yeah, it's like 40% alcohol. The taste was actually like pretty nice. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, there's a bunch of weird questions. <laughs> Do you get <laughs> Question, how big is your hometown? What what kind of question is that? Um, don't answer that. He, don't, he doesn't need to know. Do you? I'm I'm skipping I, that. I, I I am a taken man. That's all I'm gonna say. He is a taken man, Chris W. That's a great answer. Um. Oh yeah, that's okay. So, a general question, but yeah, that's a good question. Um. From Thor, and he asked, "How was school to you?" Like. Hmm. Oh like, my god! I don't did even you know get did you get good grades? For example, did you you know were you the popular oh. kid? Oh no, I was the quiet one. I stay like in the background. I'm like, yeah, don't, yeah. don't notice me. Let me go through my whole school. I think me too. From from year one to nine. <clears throat> all right. Uh -huh. I uh, I had like decent grades. Okay. But when I when I got to year ten, my every everything every other grade except for math and Russian was like normal math, math just like went down by a grade and Russia also okay. went down by a grade okay and but my English like English grade like actually like skyrocketed because that's the time when I when we switched to the British English you know all right yeah I see I see okay and then in one actually in one class um uh, it was actually back then when I still had the Tifa whoops channel I think and then in one lesson <clears throat> my friend was like Oh yeah, teacher. You don't know, like, blah blah blah. Like, oh my, god. My name is like my nickname is like Chris. You know. Okay. Okay. Chris. Chris has a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. And the the moment they opened up my very first video, I I took my backpack and I Run exited out. the classroom. Right. <laughs> yeah. I thought yeah. I thought I was gonna get punished for that, but when I looked later, like on the on the page, my teacher actually like gave me the highest grade. Hearing oh. is caring, apparently. Oh damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I had a similar experience once. So we had the IT class and you know like how IT class it was just a bunch a big ass room with like a billion PCs. So one of my friends at the time, I'm not gonna obviously say his name, um, he decided to play a prank on me. So he went on my channel and he posted my video on every PC and with full sound and you could hear me like on every PC. Hey everybody, Liam does game here. Dude, my old intro, I was just super hyper. 
And bro, it was so awkward. And I was bullied for the rest of the year. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I actually was bullied from like grade 7 to 8. But that was mostly because like I didn't like stick with anyone. Oh, I see. Okay. So basically, no, we're not. I mean, 6 to 7, I mean, sorry. And okay. on my 8th grade, like we had like the woodwork, right? Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh -huh. so, and then, I, then at one point, I got so pissed off, I just took my bag and smacked that guy. And then after <laughs> that, no one like bullied you anymore. It's like you technically have to stand up for yourself, but, but, but to the point where you actually don't like you know kill them. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no, don't kill them. <laughs> just like you know, like just slap him around a little bit. <laughs> exactly. You know? Tell him, oh, you know, shut up, you know. And, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, now the now that person that you know put all of my PCs and all of that. Bro, every like story I post that I reached a sub goal or whatever, he's like, I'm proud of you, bro. I always knew you would make it. You know? <laughs> it's funny, man. Uh, do you guys have any more questions? Do you make unturned mods? Have you ever made a mod? No, I actually haven't. Yeah. I wanted did. to like uh, get into like the whole like skins, you know. I like, wanted to make my own skins, so I okay. made like a rust rust skin actually. Okay. It had, it got like such positive views and stuff, but it didn't get accepted to the game, and I'm still like I feel sad looking back at it because my skin was in the front page for like weeks and weeks. Oh damn! Okay, so and you were that close then. <clears throat> Wait, let me see the item stats real quick. It had eleven thousand positive ratings. Damn! How the hell did that not get added? To be honest, As Rust though, Rust probably has a lot like of people. You know, posting most skins. skins that get accepted now, accepted nowadays at least, is like they get like less than one k positive ratings. Damn. But that's like back in the day, like yeah, like they yeah. didn't want the generic skins. But now I'm like, mm, if I make, if I remade that skin, it look you a probably bit better, would have get gotten accepted. accepted now. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but it's fine. Oh, right. actually, uh, <laughs> me and my friend, we did do like, like uh, unturned maps for like back in the day. Like I. Did a bit of RP content, and I'm not. Okay. I'm, I'm not happy, you know. <laughs> I hate that. Nah, man. We all played role play. Don't worry. <laughs> do you enjoy unturned? Of course, I do. Yeah. Some questions. I th this question is good from Zabik. I ask, what's your favorite food? I'm hungry now. Chicken, actually, chicken pasta. Yo, W. I love pasta too, man. Oh, uh, when I went to yeah the. Yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, the 100k video. Okay. Uh, I edited it so fast because I was actually going on a trip to London. Uh... And, and when I got there, I I instantly tried the chicken Alfredo. Yo, ch oh, bro, my girlfriend she makes literally the best pasta ever. She yeah. did. She loves her favorite food is pasta, and boy, and we're eating pasta tonight, and I am so hyped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel, I feel like I'm gonna come kidnap that food. No, don't, hey, yo, if you touch, <laughs> if you touch my food, I'll slap you, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we have another question from Chris. He asks, "What's your top number one game with the most hours on Steam?" It's probably unturned. So let's go for the second one. No, what do you, what do you mean? Rust has more hours for me. Oh, oh, never mind then. Okay, okay, I'm let's go. Has three point seven k, and the Rust has. 6k hours. Damn, okay. What about third then? <clears throat> My third game actually, I think it's CSGO. Yeah, it's CS2, I mean. Alright. Now it's CS2. I'm a... Yes, I'm a boomer. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I, I say CSGO all the time, so, <coughs> so don't worry. I think my yeah. exact same top three are the same. No, no, I have. So my top is Unturned, then CS, then Rocket League. And then yeah. and then Rust. Well, I haven't tried Rocket League. Don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get into that stuff. <laughs> don't try Rocket League. <laughs> my god, I just looked at my, my fourth most played game is Gary's Mod. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I think I was into like the um, Dark RP stuff. And Grim's uh, not a furry, by the way. Just to answer that real he, quick. He asked that so many times. <clears throat> I yeah, don't everyone's, know. like trying to figure it out. He's not, Grim. He's not. Yeah, and then Rocket my. Rocket League, yeah, is pretty bad. I, nah. I've seen the video, it's like, it's. I don't find it enjoyable, at least. It's a, it's such a, like, a toxic try-hard <laughs> game, you know? And mm -hmm. you need to actually, like, try hard to actually do anything, you know? Game series, like, story mode. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, what's your, yeah. That's a good question, actually, George, damn. I don't even know what mine is. What the heck? Which game had a story mode? Story mode, like, like for story. example, like, have you, do you like yeah, horror games, for example? Oh, I think, no, 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 I do, but the only game that had a story mode, I think, was the Sons of the Forest or the Forest. Uh, the both of them have a story. They technically do, yeah. <clears throat> technically, Unturned has a story, did you know that? Oh, yeah, the whole lore system. The lore. I, 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 I saw the video. It was like a crazy ass long video. Yeah, Night Rider posted that, I think. Mm hmm. But I don't think I have played like any other games that have a story, except for like Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, maybe. Does okay, it have a story? I guess that's I guess that's a story game, yeah. <laughs> I haven't played Metroid, no. I'm, lo I'm scrolling through my games. I barely have story games. I just have horror games as story games. Or Life is Strange. <laughs> have you ever heard of Life is Strange? I have it. I don't have. I haven't played it though. It's good. I've played. I've played all of it. I'm not really a story game player, but it was pretty good. I played it five years ago. Damn. I think like eighty percent of the games that I have, I, I haven't even touched. Oh yeah, me too. No, 100%. Like back in the day when you had like two K dubs and stuff like that, there was like the website Keymailer. Yeah. That actually yeah. like you got like free games from that, and some of the games were like. Honestly, awesome. I think like the best game I got was uh, the Beast Inside or something like that. It was like okay. a nice horror game that I. I think oh I've heard yeah, that too. that's the horror game I play with my face cam on. I even got my mom to play. <laughs> yo, yo, that's so sick. <laughs> it actually was like like terrifying. I'm gonna say that. Nah, watch like I've... a lot of horror movies, but I I can't play. It. Playing is way different. No, I prefer I prefer playing games than watching horror movies. To be honest, I I love horror movies, but I feel like I'm more scared when it comes to a movie than a game. I don't know why. Uh, I would feel like game is a bit more scary because you you get immersed in it though. Oh yeah, that's true. But movies like you watch, then you're like, mm, okay, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come from there. That's gonna be jump scare there. In that game, is like, true. Yeah. Okay, don't don't hop out, you rabbit, or I'm gonna shank you. <laughs> Don't turn around. In movies, you know they're gonna turn around, but in a game, you have mm -hmm. to turn around. <laughs> have you ever difference. been spooked the IRL by like, the, oh, like, yeah. you know, like the idea of there being a ghost or something? Oh yeah, one hundred percent, bro. So I have a in my streams, I have like, they can throw stuff at me, and there's one of them where they can throw a knock, you know, like the <laughs> knock. <laughs> yeah, knock, bro. Knock. <laughs> oh my god, and it's always every time they do it, they get me, man. I scream, literally. One like, time when I was actually streaming as well, like, my microwave, like, started, like, uh, working. I was like, what the heck? Uh, the... But apparently it was, like, its own system that got malfunctioning because uh... of the uh, thunderstorms. <laughs> I'm like, I got, a, I got a heart attack. That moment was like, uh, yeah, I gotta I move see. out. Nah, man. The... the only time I do horror games is for streams, so that at least there's content, you know? Yeah. Doing horror games for like streams is like the best best idea. Yeah, honestly. yeah, they're always fun. They're always fun. Especially if you have a webcam on. Let's be honest, because then oh, they yeah. can see you like 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 hiding from the camera. Right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, we have time for one more question. Any more? Any new questions? Let's see what there is. What? Okay. Yeah, they were talking about Metro games. I think I oh yeah, that's a good device. question. That's a good question. All right, so the last question is from Thorin. <clears throat> he asked, "Who are the YouTubers you watch, and who's your favorite?" Obviously, don't mention me. I know I'm your favorite, you know. But <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. Yo, who's no, your? <laughs> I, I do watch you though, but I I, I usually watch um, Mister Tweet Day. Okay. I watch Roda right? Block. No, Mister Tweet Day does. Yes, too. I think. What? 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 I think I know. Uh, Oda Block Pass, Old Screw Runescape, and okay. for Rust YouTubers, I... Let's be honest, the, the top three. Blue Prince, Stevie, and Frost. Exactly. Yeah, I, I've, I haven't seen I haven't seen Frost, but I have seen um, some of Blue Prince and Stevie's videos. And I yeah, also only... really like Will Jump. Uh, uh, this, is, this is a controversy for me. <laughs> I, 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 I find his videos, like, decent, right? Okay. But where's the where's the PvP? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're always chill. Like I just put them in the background for yeah, yeah. Like when I'm but editing, only on, you know. 
the only untrained YouTuber who watches them technically is you, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no untrained YouTubers. There's no one else to there's... post. MTN is posting again, so let's oh, go. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I started yeah. watching this shit. It's not at all. Bro, Smiley, have you ever seen Smiley's <laughs> videos? Oh, videos my God. I, I, keep, I, keep, I keep forgetting about those names. Yeah, I actually have to. So I have, the only three guys that I watch is MTN, Smiley, and you. Yeah, 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 nobody else posts. I don't think literally anyone else posts. I don't watch untrained montages. Ugh. Yeah, most of the stuff that gets posted is like uh, the frag movies and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, it's either <laughs> montages or how to hack an unturned. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, my For You page like a week ago was like filled with unturned hacks and rust hacks. I was like oh, so pissed. I kept blocking man. those channels. Yeah, it's it, <laughs> unturned hacking right now is like one of, it's one of the worst times in unturned. So I'm mean, like I think hacking overall is like getting worse. Oh it's yeah, like, no, for sure, for sure, one hundred percent. Like if the game is like pe like uh, expensive, there's gonna be less cheaters. Like you can see from the perspective, like CS:GO was was like what was like twenty bucks. Like there oh, were damn. there weren't like that many cheaters. Yeah. CS:GO went to rent free. Oh, cheaters skyrocketed. Cheaters act everywhere, man. I remember <clears> that. Yeah. Yeah, and. And uh, let's be honest, like, you know, like how Rust is like, for me, it's like 40 euros, right? Yeah, I think I... But for, Ru but for Russians, it's like 7, 8 euros. Oh, damn. Oh, makes sense. So huh? so that makes sense why there's so many, like, <laughs> so Russian, many Russian and hackers, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, that's enough for the questions. That's the end for the podcast. What did, what did you think of the first podcast, man? You Did you think it was going to be this chill? <laughs> Dude, that it was fun, so man. Chill. I'm I'm anxious so really. Really? Nah. No, no but nah, but my th thanks for having me, you know. I, of I course, feel honored. Man. Of course, of course. First guest chat, Puro. Everyone again, we got some hearts for Puro in the chat. Um so Yeah, so we're going to be doing this weekly next event, next podcast we're going to have Brad and Mr. Spamel. So next next podcast will be next week. So Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, huge shout out to the sponsors. Um, we got ourselves, uh, we got ourselves uh, Pine Hosting. Who Pine Hosting? Obviously, they host servers. If you guys want to check them out, they host servers for multiple games, not just Unturn. They do Rust, a, a bunch of games, and use code LDG for thirty percent off. Uh, exclamation Pine Host! If you want to check it out. Um, then we have ourselves Amok Studios, who's a team of professionals who work with you to make mods, including maps. Or any kind of mods, so exclamation uh, Amox. And finally, we have Restore Monarchy, who specialize in free and paid plugins for all types of servers. So, if you have yourself servers and you want to get yourself some free plugins or want to pay for some really good uh, plugins, then check out Restore Monarchy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you guys had a, had a good time. If you're watching from YouTube, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys made it till the end, I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next podcast. Bye. Bye-bye.